today I answer the question that no one has been asking. Just what is in my golf bag? We'll get to that in a moment, but first, they could do with a clean. Well, you get the idea. At the end of 2018, I went for my first custom fitting session with Ping. The result of this was the majority of the bag I currently have. We'll get to the big dog, but for now, let's take a look at the wedges I possess. My wedges come from Ping's G700 range. I was told that the G700s were the most forgiving clubs they had, which, well, that's probably not a good sign. I have the standard sand and pitching wedges, as well as a gap or utility wedge in between. All of these have a velvet Golf Pride Tour grip and a standard length Nippon Pro Modus 3 Tour shaft of regular flex. The invoice I'm reading this information off of doesn't mention what loft these clubs are, but I believe I have a 54 degree pitching wedge, a 58 degree gap wedge, and a 60 degree sand wedge. My irons range from 9 to 6 and, like the wedges, they come from the G700 range. These are also equipped with a velvet Golf Pride Tour Grip and Nippon Pro Modus 3 Tour Shafts of standard length and regular flex. These clubs have resulted in shots of a high trajectory, more distance and extra carry. This is my 5 Hybrid. It comes from Ping's G400 series and was recommended during my fitting over a 5 iron. With 26 degrees of loft and a regular flex Altair CB70 shaft, I think I made the right call. Despite having the same specs as my 5 hybrid, the 4 hybrid did not result from my fitting and is the most recent addition to my bag. It has 22 degrees of loft and is the only club in my bag to have a different grip from the rest, other than my putter which we'll get to in a bit. Both my 7 wood and 5 wood hail from the G400 range. I used to have a 3 wood in the bag, but the numbers suggested that there was little difference between my shots with a 3 wood and a 5 wood, whereas there was a huge gap between the 5 wood and 5 iron. The 7 wood, with its 20.5 degrees of loft, filled that gap nicely. The 5 wood has a loft of 17.5 degrees, and both clubs were fitted with an Altair CB65 shaft off standard size and, you guessed it, regular flex. Both of these clubs have given me extra distance off the ground, making some of those longer par fours more enjoyable. And now for the scoring club in the bag. No, not the driver, that's for show. This is the club that gets you the dough. You have to be comfortable with the flat stick and for me, comfort comes in the shape of the Ansair Stealth model in the Ping Sigma 2 series. You heard me, the answer to my putting problems is a literal answer. It's fitted with a Sigma 2 PP60 grip and can have its length adjusted between 28 and 34 inches. On that subject, all my woods can have their lofts adjusted if I so wish. Finally we come to the big stick and of course is the G400. This is the G400 Max driver. It has 10.5 degrees of loft and is fitted with an Altair CB55 shaft with regular flex. This helps me hit the ball high, far and somewhat straight. Well, mostly. And that is what is in my golf bag. I would show you what's near the pockets but uh, no one wants to see that, believe me. When I do buy golf balls, I tend to play Titleist's cheaper brands like Velocities and True Feels, but I normally end up playing wherever I find during my rounds, on account of them being harder to lose. I also have this well-worn glove. Look at it. Look at it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for some more golf content coming real soon.